So I haven't done a video in a while, but I have definitely wanted to. I guess I just didn't really know what to start back up with since it's been a few months. Um, but I have a busy day planned, so we're going to do a little day in life video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's, I think, uh, it's 7 right now, um, and I'm finishing coffee, and I'm going to go get ready, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do next. Okay, so I'm heading to a networking event. It's called Creative Mornings. It's actually a global community and we have a St. Pete chapter here. Um, I really like coming to these events because a lot of creatives come together and they always have a speaker that speaks on some kind of topic um, and kind of relates to their profession or their life journey. So it's really fun and um, I'll give you guys a little taste of what it's like. Okay, so I just got back from the event and it went really well. Um, I like creative morning events a lot because they're super laid back and they're not like an awkward networking experience. Um, it's super casual. So I usually meet someone if I sit next to someone that I don't know or maybe I'm standing in the coffee line and I, you know, have a conversation with someone in front of me. Um, so it seems like a really organic, natural way to kind of connect with the community. So I would really encourage everyone to check out if there's a Creative Morning chapter um, by you. And if there's not, I know you're able to apply to open one near you. So it could be something that maybe you'd want to look into. But this month, the topic was on... Uh, the topic was wonder. Um, so it was really cool. The guy who spoke was a creative set designer for Disney. Um, so he was like in the theater world a lot. So even though, you know, some of the speakers maybe don't directly uh, relate to what I do or what, you know, everyone does who attends, it's really cool to get different perspectives uh, from different creatives. And, you know, it's still inspiring to hear people's stories. So I really enjoyed it. Um, now I'm gonna head to grab something to eat and go to a coffee shop to get some work done. leaving the coffee shop I just got some work done and I found this super cool wall to act as my background um, but I figured now sorry <laughs> now is a good opportunity to kind of tell you guys um, why today is a big day and what the point of this video is I guess um, my team and I have been working on the grand opening for a new really cool Mediterranean restaurant opening in our area called Baba um, I'll put the handle right here. So this past month has really been dedicated to their grand opening strategy and you know generating a lot of hype so that their grand opening will be a successful one. Um, tonight we have their official preview event where we're hosting around 60-ish influencers slash media um, to come to the space, try the food, try the drinks, enjoy themselves and get like a really good um, feel of what the restaurant's all about all about um, we're hoping it generates a lot of social media hype and we get some media hits from it um, so I'll be taking you guys along for that and right now I'm gonna head home freshen up eat something get some more work done and then we're heading to the restaurant a little early because we're gonna do a full food shoot um, mostly for social media content um, and then the event will be this evening so I'll take you guys along so I forgot that I wanted to also bring up why I wanted to do a kind of day in the life type of video um, and it's because when I was still in school I had a couple of speakers come into some of my classes um, who worked in the industry and you know would speak on their experience and what they did and kind of just what their job was like uh, and a common question that we would always ask them was what is a typical day for you like you know to describe some things that maybe they do and I swear 
they always, always answered with, oh, every day is really different. Like you can never really know what you're gonna do. Uh, you know, this industry is so fast paced and blah, 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 blah. So that none of them would give like a straight answer of, of what they do. Um, and as a student and as someone who was trying to learn and kind of get a feel of what the industry was like, that answer pissed me off so much because it was so vague. Um, so now after working a little bit, I definitely understand what they mean by every day is different and like some days change and whatever, but I think there's better ways to answer those questions for people that are trying to learn. So I definitely wanted to kind of highlight maybe a little more fun day for me, um, and a, you know, a day that had some more things packed into it so you guys can see um, some, of the, the, some of the things that go on in, you know, the PR industry with the social media and influencer space. So I hope showing you this stuff and, you know, you guys getting to see it a little bit gives you, a, you know, some sort of idea of what a day can look like. Um, so let me know what you think. Okay, so I've been home and I'm getting some work done. I wanted to show you guys something that I really like to do before um, my events to kind of prepare myself. Um, and this is events that, you know, either we're hosting or I just go to and attend. Um, I like to always go through the guest list that I have. And sorry, I blocked these um, parts out because I had like emails and uh, like personal information. Um, but anyway, so I like to go through the uh, uh, attendees list and kind of pick out the key people that I know that I want to make sure uh, that I talk to and kind of build a relationship with a little bit more. Um, a lot of these people I have worked with a lot and, uh, you know, I have a pretty good relationship with them. But there are a few uh, media people coming that I haven't been able to meet yet. So I, you know, I go through the list and kind of make sure um, I remember their name, I remember obviously what outlet they're with, and I kind of go onto their social media, make sure I know exactly what they look like so that I am able to go up to them and kind of have a conversation starter or something to say to make sure um, that I start building that relationship. So again, that's with um, events that we host and other networking events that I go to. So at other events, I know, you know, you don't always have the guest list, but if you are able to see people that are attending, it's a great opportunity to go through the list and um, pick out a few people that you know you want to make sure um, that you to go up to, to talk to, and um, start building a relationship with them. So it's good to go into an event with a plan instead of just going there and kind of winging it. Um, it makes it always a little bit more productive. Something I like to do to prepare for photo shoots is also look up some photo styling ideas. Um, so with food, you know, plating is really important and how you present the food, how you showcase it. And so I use Pinterest a lot to look at photo ideas um, and also uh, some, shoot, what are they called? Um, like stock photo websites, uh, like Unsplash is a really good one. So I'll look up uh, images there and kind of see some styling ideas and kind of get... Um, a vibe for what the shoot should really look like. Like this picture I really like. Uh, the movement in it is really cool. Like pouring something onto the food is great. Um, so right now I just looked up food, uh, Mediterranean food photography on Pinterest since you know we'll be shooting Mediterranean food. Um, we'll probably want the shoot to be really light and airy. The space is very white so um, yeah so I like to get some ideas this way to kind of get ready for the shoot and have a game plan going into it. Okay, so we're currently at the restaurant right now, and Eric is back there taking pictures. You see him right there. <laughs> um, it's, I'll show you the space a little bit. Outside. Here's inside. So we're going to be taking some pictures and getting ready.
a day in the life kind of turned into like a day and a half-ish in the life because I got home late from the event and didn't really feel like recording the last part of this video. Um, but everything at the event went well. Um, I got, I did take a few clips that I was able to put in here to show you guys. Uh, I wish, you know, I kind of took more, but I was busy, you know, mingling and making sure that everything with the, with the event went well. Um, but you guys did see that it downpoured. So about an hour before the event starting started, it just started pouring rain, which was a huge bummer because the outside of the restaurant is beautiful. And I was really hoping that everyone that who came would be able to kind of take pictures out there and hang out out there as well. Um, the rain did slow down once the event started, but everything was still soaked. So we kind of just moved everything inside and it still ended up um, being really good. Everyone seemed like they enjoyed themselves. So I'm really excited for that opening. The handle on Instagram is eat at Baba. If you guys want to check it out. Oh, and since it rained, we also weren't able to do the full food shoot that we wanted to um, because we usually shoot everything outside because um, natural light is the best. Um, so that also really sucked. But other than the rain, the day was great. Um, so I really enjoyed kind of taking you guys along with me and vlogging throughout this day. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I promise that it won't take me another six months to make a video. So thanks.